as more and more pieces of the Bifrost team come together, I'm thinking that in war offense, we can do something here. So what we're going to look at is a couple counters. It is just practice, right? It's just, just practice. We're talking about practice in war offense mode with just some of the various Asgardians we have now. And just, I'm just curious. I'm curious to see oh, what they can do, what they can handle, what they can get done. Let's take a peek. So our first matchup, we're going against the Black Order. So in, in practice mode, I don't know. I'm hoping that the... Uh, the special nowhere stuff is happening that it's there i don't know somebody could maybe help me understand a little bit more but hey we're going to go in we're going to see what these individuals are able to accomplish all right so we have thor valkyrie and val sif and we brought in loki so loki's going to help us get the extra hit right there we got Val, the ability block, and look that. Call's almost gone. So we saw it was like kind of a punch across, right? This is kind of a punch across. And again, I don't know if this will translate well in actual war. But if so, it gives us another team to use against the Black Order. That means you can free somebody else up. You can free up the Nowhere. You can free up the Wakandans for something else. So two people are already down. Uh, who's left? Thanos, obviously, got the stun on him. Let Val go to town. We don't have to worry about the retaliations from Cull because he's already gone. And we'll just keep it going. So I don't know if Loki, I mean, that Loki, my control is good. That my control is, is good. So maybe he is the right pick uh, for the present time. I'm really curious to see what happens when I can get Beta Ray Bill. See if that makes it even easier. And that's the thing right there, man. Val gets to do vile things, and anybody that you lost is, is back. Right? Those regions are amazing. So really, my, my theory of operation, well, there we go. That one's down. That's in the bag. Next up, we will go with the Young Avengers, and we have the Mighty Thor, Jane Foster, in instead of Loki this time. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're loading in. And, you know, it's business as usual. Young Avengers are doing what they do. As long as we don't lose Val, right, we're still in this. We're going to go ahead with the move here. I don't know if this is right. Right, I would love to get an ability block, but we're not going to be able to do it because of the evades. But we need to get rid of the evades, right? We need to get those evades taken care of so we can start hitting the people. So maybe I should save that. I'm not sure. And as people start taking these hits, obviously Thor gets to go. The evades are down now. And hopefully we can start doing some work. We get our taunt up. So if Sif can just keep taking these hits. I think that was supposed to stun, but it did not happen. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, I think it was. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll, what, what else are we going to do? I could maybe put the disrupt on Miss Marvel. That's a thought. Go here. Nothing gets flipped. They're still going. Squirrel Girl uses her heal. So we're taking a beating here. And they're healing back up. So Valk we lost the player, so Valkyrie does her thing. Now we can do our ultimate with Val. So again, as long as she's still standing, as long as Val is still up doing Val things. I said she. I know it's they, I apologize. So as long as Val is still standing. You got a shot, right? Stuff can stuff can keep going. Right, so my, my concept is. Right, we're kind of, I'm kind of, I want to get like that old school wave one is what is what's inspiring me. Right, take the hits, let Thor pop off. If you lose a person, I guess it's kind of like the BKT plus wave one. Val can continue to revive just like Minerva. She's got health steal like Minerva. Uh, Valkyrie, 
when you lose members now look at this we 100 percent turned the tide right we were close to death and now they're all teetering if we can just get to squirrel girl there looks like this is finally our opportunity we we're worried we wouldn't be able to get through and that should seal the deal right a squirrel girl's gone and you have some health left that should seal the deal we got immunities and whatnot so we don't have to worry too much about the blinds from kate we're in good hands so yeah, you lose members you get the buffs from valkyrie and then when vol takes their turn you get members back rinse and repeat so as long as you don't lose those key members you're all right so this one's in the bag this one's in the bag got it done out of there how about rebirth let's check it out congrats to the u.s agent he's powering up his archangel always good to see u.s agent from my alliance that is down in the in the chat so we're going to go ahead and put the exposed and the ability block here on cap so i right i i did not uh, notice but exposed doesn't go away it just stays the character will continue to take their turn and take their turn and take their turn as long as the character is still standing you still have exposed okay so we we tried this a couple times it wasn't guaranteed obviously we got to get to captain carter but captain america is going to make that uh difficult right because cap's going to keep taunting and whatnot but hey we put the exposed on cap since we got to keep hitting them anyway. Big hit by Vile and look at that. So just like that. Just like that, the tide has turned. So again, Vile is definitely the MVP. But I really like, right, I just like that situation. I just like this situation. You might hear my doggy. He's barking. He's young Chew. He's getting upset. He's here with me in the studio and he wants out. We're just in my closet. But yeah, look, I mean, it went good. I thought it went well went well and finally we have the invaders so i know people are you know they want to power up the defensive side but the eternals i think still annihilate hero asgard so maybe we can get some use of them on the offensive side and if they're able to take the place of a counter we're already using that frees up that team to be used somewhere else right it's always that's that's the chess game of alliance war so Fury makes the minions taunt, obviously. I don't know if going after that particular minion is the right thing to do. I probably should have went after one of the, uh, the tanks. Because they can take more hits, which would mean more taps into the exposed. And that one is next to Fury. Because that's what I was thinking about. Well, which one is next to Fury, just in case I can get some splash damage or something like that. So Thor sends some people flying. Jane Foster flippity flop and just like that right i have i now have the momentum they're losing members so this is going okay i mean i'm i'm all right our health on both sides is a little sketchy right Thor goes again makes it a five on three fury is stunned and once he's off the board that should be good game If you agree with that statement hopefully hopefully you agree with that statement probably not the most well played we could have played it differently but yeah i think this is now under control so i think there's some viability there my team's just not super strong uh, i'd like to test a little more i will be doing a little bit more testing but maybe you've seen some things is there any theory crafting that you got any points that you'd like to bring out should i switch members what would happen right if you switch people around when i get my beta ray bill Hopefully we'll do some more. Peace.